we've been tracking the release of GT4, the PlayStation Underground has tried to keep you up to date with all the inside info on the upcoming version of the world's foremost driving game. Gran Turismo continues to upgrade and create new features within the game. The team at Polyphony Digital always adds extra touches that keep their games fun and interesting. Here's some of what you can expect, starting with the human touch. Polyphony Digital has always had the idea that once we got the cars right, the next goal would be to improve the people you see in the game. We've been researching this for a long time. For Gran Turismo 4, we've used the physics engine to attempt a new technique for the animation of human movement. For example, previously, convertible cars were driven with the top closed. That was because we were not technically able to show the driver operating inside the car. In this version, the convertible cars will have a recognizable driver. Also, there are spectators beside the course. Before, they were like billboards. To carry that notion of cheering one step further, the GT4 player might want to tune into GTTV. Gran Turismo, the franchise, has been a combination of two main factors. One was the actual driving that players experienced, and one was the replays that the game provides immediately after each race, both of which are exciting, great fun, and very nice to look at. And there were many people who play a certain race with a certain car just because they want to see the replay. With GTTV, players don't have to worry about driving the car. They could be eating something or relaxing and still watch their own creation being driven by someone else on a live TV broadcast or replay. Or they could just drive the car themselves. Although Gran Turismo is a driving simulator that requires driving skill, we wanted to create a game which could be enjoyed by people around the world who like the cars but don't have the driving skills. If your idea of excitement includes ogling some of the great cars of the past, GT4 will include a museum feature where you can scope out some of the classics. If you want to see the classic cars of today, oftentimes you have to go to a museum exhibition. So, I thought it only natural to have a museum in the game for classic cars. From the historic to the modern, GT4 will have an improved artificial intelligence system that will help make the racing experience even closer to the real thing. For example, if you start to drift towards a competitor, their car will take evasive maneuvers. But cars will develop a memory. If you mess with them too much, they'll come after you. And we'll come after you if you don't check out track GT4 in the next issue where we'll have an update on the great new features in Gran Turismo 4.